Yo, yo everybody, today we're doing something a little bit different. We are going to have a look at how it is that you install mods for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now, I think most of you know exactly how to do it, but I do know that some people are under the cursed idea that using the special app for it, the, I don't even remember what it's called anymore, but you know, it's this Nexus Mod's own way of installing mods, what's it called. It'll come to me later, doesn't matter. Don't do it! I'm on patch 1.8 right now, and I will just go through how one might usually go through installing mods. Let's see, what do we want? We want... Here's his tweaks. It's always a good one. You want the updated one, though, because the old original one don't work no more. Right, so what you usually might do is go into files. You can see I've already got this one. Download it. Bam. Oh! This mod, however, does show you that it needs four other mods to work. But, you know, some people might just ignore that. Slow download this one. And there you go. You got Keros' tweaks open up here and you're thinking, well, what do I do with this? I don't just have, a, have an app to sort it all out for me. Well, it's rather easy. You uh, open your Windows Viewer, or whatever this is called. Anyway, it's nice and simple. Open up the folder. Go to your local disk or wherever else it is installed, and then you just find it. Now, it's rather easy to navigate this when you know where you're going, but basically you want to click onto the program files or whatever it is you have most of your things installed. Go to Steam. Go to Steam apps down here. Go into the one called Common. And then you look at the ones you've got installed here and find Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Then you go into Modules. And then you can see where it is you need to put the mods in modules here. Or you can also do like I do. Look, this guy's pinned over here. So if you're using a Windows PC, you can right click on this and say pin to quick access, which I would do. Now, another way to get here, which might be easier for some people, is to go over to Steam, right click on Bannerlord, Properties, Local Files, Browse. I don't like doing this because you actually have to minimize these to get there, which is annoying but it gets you to the Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord folder up here and then you just click modules. Now the simple thing about this is after you put a mod in here in modules let's actually put Kosis tweaks in here all right side note quickly you do need something like uh, what's this program called well you need some sort of program <laughs> that can open zip files yeah, you can Google it. It's fine. Nice and easy. Not too difficult. You need one of these to open up the zip files. That's the only annoying thing you need to get used to. You stick it in here, and then we will press play. This hops up. Mods. Nice. And we can click it. Except we can't click it because it requires things. Now, why can't we click it? Well, it depends on a whole bunch of other mods that we will then have to install to make it work after this closes down. The requirements! Yeah, they are listed. Butterlib, Harmony, Mod Configuration Menu, and UI Extender X. You don't really need to look at all of them. You just need to go into Files and then look at the text here to see which one you need. Now here you can see for 1.72 and 1.8. And we're using 1.8, so this is the one we need. And you manual download it. Download it. This one needs Harmony. But, you know, Harmony's actually on the list up here as well. Download it. Here's Harmony. Oh, I need to endorse some things. Whoop. Harmony. This version, or this, yeah, this works with every version past this. Basically, you always want to have a look at this to make sure that you get the version that's matching up with everything else you want. Now we'll do this for the other two mods as well. And see you in a sec. And there we go. We have downloaded all the mods and now we want to stick them in. So obviously they are in your downloads folder and we're putting Kosis tweaks and now I need to put in the other ones and you've got to go through some adverts. Now something that happens with some of these mods is that this is something that you spot. You open it up in the downloads thing and it shows modules. I don't really like this because for this to work getting dragged onto it, dragged up here, you need to put it in here. But who wants to do that? So what you can do is Click into modules here, and then you've got the mod that you can then drag in. A little bit annoying, but it is how it is. 
it is a simple thing, but it's also easy to just randomly throw in the modules folder in here. I've done it myself before. Everyone does it once in a while. Well, I say once in a while, but I don't remember the last time I did it. But then I've been doing this too much. And then we stick that one in too. And now we look at Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, mods, and there we go. Now, most mods will place themselves somewhere that's acceptable. Well, most mods. These guys up here will go where they want to go. Mod configuration menu, however, should, I believe, also go above here. Based on these guys. And don't worry about the unverified code. It's all unverified. So it's all fine. And we click this. And we can click on birth or death options. This is actually not a mod. I don't know why. It's classified as an additional thing. Uh, Tales World says edit it themselves. We'll just press play. Blah, 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 blah. If we press play now, and then we'll see. Will it work? It could crash. Ah, yes. Here we go. Now, this is interesting because you might think, oh, no, this is a crash. But actually, this is not a crash at all. I believe this is, yes, this is an issue of Curtis Tweaks. I don't know what it is, but you can just press OK and it works fine anyway. I've got no problems with it at all. And now you can go into options, like mod options here, and just, well, change it about however you want. And it'll work! Now, that works fine, but sometimes things just don't go the way you want because there's multiple mods involved and you're not sure what the hell is going on. There is a way to figure it out. A nice and easy way. Let's look at Service of Soldier for now. This is a very nice mod, my previous series, or the one that's ongoing that I can't currently play, cannot be played because this mod is not currently updated. Updated for the hotfix, that is. That was on the 22nd. I don't know, look, it says 1.8. Why wouldn't it work? Well, let me just show you that it doesn't work. Stick it in there. Start up Bannerlord. Click it on. Press play. Oh no, it crashed! Do we not get an error log message somewhere? No, we do not. Oh dear. Obviously, if you don't know which mod is crashing, you can always slowly click them off or on one by one. So what we could do here is we could click this one off, then press play, see if it still crashes, and then keep clicking them off and off and off until the game actually doesn't crash anymore to single out which mod isn't working. In this case, we know it serves as a soldier. So what do, you, what do you do then when you know that the mod isn't working? Well, the first thing to do is to look at posts and hope that there's not a lot of awful language in here. But basically, it's usually really quick. You see like this guy saying, up oh, but up, is the game crashing after the beta hotfix? And this person confirms it indeed that the game crashes with this mod installed after the new hotfix. And yep, you keep reading down. Just be a little bit patient, read it all, maybe some people are wrong, but a lot of the time you'll just see that actually the mod just isn't working right now for patch 1.8, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And this is usually the case with a mod. If you look, look go into posts, you can find out what the problem is. If there is a big general problem with the mod, it should be there. Especially with, the, well, at least with the popular mods. And if you ever want to update a mod, it's usually fine to just stick the update in here. If it's not okay, it will say somewhere in the descriptions. Now, sometimes descriptions uh, don't exist on some mods, and sometimes they're very long. So, if you are having an issue though, it's probably a good idea to look here as well. So that's basically how it is that I install my mods. Something else to look at when you're installing mods is to see if they do something similar to another mod. Now this is a troop and item overhaul mod. Now what you've got to think with this sort of mod is, oh right look the uh, installation thing is vortex. Don't use that shit! Unless you want constant diarrhea. Anyway most mods like this that can conflict with other mods and thus make your game not work properly, they will say something down here. Ah compatibility. Naturally, it won't be compatible with other mods that also change these troops. In this case, it doesn't work with ATC, 
or realistic battle module. That is also something that you should be keeping an eye out for on these mods, that there are multiple different versions of that do the same thing. This isn't just for troop overhauls, it's also for more hidden engine changes and effects and that sort of thing. And some mods even have a bug page, which is quite nice. So you can also have a look and see under the bug page if your bug has been found, how it is doing. This mod has, well, it's not setting a priority on them, but you can see some of them have been fixed and some of them have replies. And there you have it. That's how to look at and install mods put simply and uh, moderately quickly. Now, if you have any other questions about how to go about it, or if I need to make something more in depth, you know, like go on a 30 minutes, just showing how I install mods thingy, uh, I, I, yeah, get, let me know down below if that's something you wanna see or anything else. And if you could give me a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm to put this video out there so everybody can clap or laugh at it or you know vomit uncontrollably that would also be fine actually if you vomit uncontrollably from watching this video i'd very much like to hear about it in the comments because then clearly i need to do something different or more of that i'm not sure anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time